Hello, Mrs. Wagner here. Um, I am going to do the Unit 1 Lesson 4 Lab. Uh, how can objects have the same temperature but different amounts of thermal energy? The things that you will need. You are going to need two styrofoam cups with lids. These can be bought. They're coffee cups. A couple other styrofoam cups just to put cold water in. You're going to need a massing scale, a thermometer, some tongs, two objects, similar material, but different masses. Cold water, hot water. So I just put hot water. Um, I use a coffee maker to make my uh, water uh, hot. We don't need to boil anything, so this will make it hot enough. All right, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we need to mass each of our objects. So we'll mass the small bowl and we'll mass this cube, okay? All right, I'm going to start with the small bolt. Oh, it's falling off. There we go. Small bolt is 2.1 grams. So I'm going to enter that on to, I think it's slide five, right there for small bolt, 2.1 grams. This metal cube, now you might be using some different materials, but this metal cube is 122.8, 122.8 grams, okay? All right, so we'll make sure we write grams as well. Okay, then it says to place the small bolt into a cup and the block into another cup. So I've placed them in each of these cups. I'm going to add hot water. Are the bolts the same temperature? I really won't know that until I add hot water. You could take the temperature if you have a uh, one of those like infrared type thermometers. Um, you could take the temperature of each of the materials, but by adding the water and letting the water uh, kind of settle and transfer its energy to these metal objects in here, we will know because the temperature will even out in the objects, we'll know the temperature of the objects if we know the temperature of the water, okay? So I'm gonna add the hot water to each of the cups. I'm not measuring the hot water, but I am making sure that they are somewhat equal in each of the cups. So I'm really just eyeballing that. You could draw lines on, you could measure um, how high up on the cup you wanna go or you could measure using a graduated cylinder. I'm just making sure that they are even um, when I pour them in, okay? And we know water displacement is gonna have something to do with it because the cube is taking up more space on the um, screw or the little bolt, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure they're even. You don't have like way more water than the other cup, okay? All right, so I'm just giving it about 30 seconds or so to get the energy to transfer to the objects on the inside. Okay, on my um, data table while this is going on, I wanna make sure that I have on here small bolt temp in hot water and large cube temp in hot water. If that is not already in number two in your notebook, you're going to want to add that. And then I will write down the temperature once I take the temperature of each. Okay. Keeping the lid on one, I'm taking the lid off of this one and taking the temperature of the water. I can see that it is rising. I want to make sure it's Celsius, so I'm going to look at the right side of this particular thermometer. It's on the right side. It is rising. Okay, it's now stopping. Oh, it might be rising a little bit more. I'm going to kind of put my hands around it. Okay, that is 63 
63 degrees Celsius. That is the one um, that has the cube. 63 degrees Celsius is the one with the cube. Okay, I'm going to put the top back on. I want to make sure that it's maintaining 63 degrees as much as possible. We're not going to prevent all of the energy loss, but we want to make sure we are. Okay, interesting. This is really interesting because it is rising in the small bolt. Wonder if you can explain to your classmates or your teacher why you think the water is rising. Why is the temperature of the water from the small bolt going higher? Remember, I'm measuring the water, okay? Okay. This one is about 67. 67 degrees Celsius, okay? So for the small bolt, 67 degrees Celsius. The large cube, 63 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I've got these still in the hot water. Um, we're going to go quick here because I don't want the energy to lose, I don't want the cups to lose as much energy um, as they would if I had the tops off, but we want to maintain as much energy in here as possible. Number three says, predict what will happen to the temperature of the water samples when a large hot cube, which is in this cup, is added to one of the cups and a small hot bowl in this cup is added to the other cup of cold tap water. So now we're going to take the objects out of here, and then I'm going to add them to cups that have cold water, okay? But I'm going to predict first. So if I take the block, a cube, out and put it in cold water, what's going to happen to the water temperature of that cold water? And similarly, what's going to happen to the water temperature of the cold water when I add the bolt from the hot water to the cold water? So make a prediction. Okay, once you've made a prediction, you're going to go to the next slide and we're gonna finish out uh, procedure number three and four. So number three says, put equal amounts of cold water into two coffee cups. So I've got uh, some cold water here. I've got ice in it because I needed to cool it down quickly, but I'm not gonna let any of the ice get into the cup. I'm gonna try not to. Of course I'll spill water because that's what I do. Okay, yeah, all that water spilling. No big deal. Okay, cold water, I'm gonna take the temperature of the water. And I can see it going down. So while that is working on getting the right temperature or reading the right temperature, I'm going to transfer some data into this slide. My small bolt was 2.1 grams. And my cube was 122.8, so I want to make sure I have those in the um, data table, okay? Temperature of the cold water before I add the metal object. So this is our cold water right there. Both of these columns are going to be for cold water, okay? We're done. Once we move the objects from the hot water to the cold water, we're going to be done with the hot water. So we're taking the temperature of the cold. Okay, so this is down to 5 degrees Celsius. We'll do the other cup as well. I don't see... Okay, this one is three degrees Celsius. I'm gonna put it back in here and see if I get three on the other one as well. I might have read it a little bit too soon and it was going down and I took it out and stopped it. Yeah, they're both three. So I'm gonna put three degrees. Your temperatures might be a little bit different depending on what water your teacher has available for you and how cold that water got. Okay, three degrees Celsius for the temperature of the cold water before I add the cube and the little bolt to our cold water. Okay, take the thermometer out. Now again, this is tricky because we're gonna have energy loss and we can't prevent that. It's just gonna happen. 
So we're going to try to go as quick as possible. Taking some tongs, and I'm going to place my cube into the cold water, and then I'm going to take this little screw, which is going to be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Do it quick. There we go. Got it. And it's going to go into that water. I'm done with the hot water, okay? All right. So now I'm going to give this about, I'm putting my hands over it. You can also put the lids on these cups. I'm going to give it about a minute, all right? Again, energy transfer. So think about what's happening to the energy in the cube and the energy in the small bolt once it hits the, the cold water. All right, it's been about a minute. So I'm now gonna take the temperature first of the small bolt, since that's the first one on our data table. Okay, I can see it's going up a little bit. Remember we started out at three degrees Celsius. It's gone up to, it's moving a little bit more gone up to five, five degrees Celsius, okay? Okay, the one with the cube, that one's rising, so it's going above the five. Uh, it's reached nine, Let's see if it continues. Oh, it's gone up to 10. I think it's stopping. Yeah, okay. So this one is at 10. It's closest to the 10. So 10 degrees Celsius. Both of the waters start out, started out at 3. With the one with the small bolt raised it up by 2 degrees. The one with the cube raised it up about 7 degrees. So that is the change in temperature after we added the hot items to the cold water. It changed the water's temperature, the small bolt by two, and the cube by seven. All right, you're gonna graph these results and you'll have a discussion with your classmates. Hope this helped.